Good evening everyone. The state's tourism sector has taken another massive hit with the West Coast Wilderness Railway to cease operations by the end of April. The federal group cutting short a 20-year deal to operate the railway, blaming escalating maintenance costs. Operated by the federal group since 2002, the West Coast Wilderness Railway has serviced about 400,000 passengers. It's considered a key pillar of tourism on the West Coast, but 10 years into a 20-year agreement, Federal today announcing it would be ceasing operations, citing difficult economic conditions and high maintenance costs. According to the Tourism Industry Council, the move will cost 52 jobs and put an almost $10 million per year dent into the region. It's around eight or nine million dollars immediate direct spend there and, and that's money that's not spent at the tour, that's money that's spent at our accommodation operators, our coffee shops, our tra tour operators. Twelve years ago the century old Out Railway was reborn, offering a whole new historic and wilderness railway experience. Receiving more than 30 million dollars of federal and state money, federal hotels committed to the long term operation of the train. While stopping short of saying the railway would still be viable under a Liberal government, Will Hodgman has called on the Premier to pump more money into tourism marketing to ensure enterprises like the Apt Railway can flourish. What government should do uh, for all Tasmanian businesses, especially those in the tourism industry, is promote our state better, invest more in marketing, get more people coming into Tasmania as tourists. Green Tim Morris says the responsibility lies with the federal group and that the people of the West Coast deserve more than a snap decision. I feel very strongly that uh, the community probably will feel a bit dudded uh, by sh such short uh, an announcement. In a statement, Infrastructure Minister David O'Byrne says a new operator will be sought and maintaining the current operation would mean an additional spend of up to $20 million over the next five years. Chris Rowbottom, Southern Cross News. The West Coast tourism sector is coming to terms tonight with the loss of the West Coast Wilderness Railway. Federal hotels today announcing it will cease operation of the historic train from Strawn to Queenstown at the end of April. The company says it's just no longer viable, putting at risk up to 50 jobs. Well, it's been a very difficult decision. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful world-class experience, but um, we've uh, re recognised in recent times that there's an escalating maintenance requirement, um, uh, particularly around the below rail infrastructure. That was confirmed by a report that we received last year. Um, combined with that, uh, there's been a downturn in West Coast tourism, which has been reflected in our passenger numbers. And those things combined have meant that the, the service really is no longer viable for us to operate. Returning to our lead story now, the Federal Group has announced it's closing the West Coast Wilderness Railway. It's set to be a big hit for the local economy. Our reporter Madeline Slattery is on the West Coast tonight and sent this report a short time ago. Jo, I'm here in Queenstown at the West Coast Wilderness Railway Station where the community is just digesting the news that the tourism icon will stop operating under Federal Group in just a few months. Now to talk about the local reaction, I'm joined by the West Coast Mayor Daryl Geraghty. And Daryl, just how will this impact a tourism industry that's already having difficulties? Well, it's devastating. And it's not only the tourism industry, there's so many feed off this railway, cafes, restaurants, hotels, motels, bus lines, individuals. So it's going to be devastating because we've got a domino effect here on the West Coast. Now, the railway employs almost 50 people. What could those potential job losses mean for the region? Well, we're trying to grow our population here. And that's going to be devastating too. But there is a solution if the government will put TAS Rail as the overseas manager of this. We keep the specialised workforce here, fix up the track, which has been a problem since day one, and keep operating. So, Joe, it's a bit of an uncertain future for the tourism industry here on the West Coast. Back to you.